Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to say that considering this is only video number two, but seriously, it's been so much fun planning these videos for you guys. Happy Friday. Comment below with what you guys are up to this weekend. I have a super exciting weekend planned. I'm having a girl's day with one of my best friends and a really thrilling 14 page paper to finish. It's all about balance, isn't it? It's actually been a really tough week, so I'm trying to keep things mellow today. I'm doing a video from Yoga with Adrian that I've linked down below to try to unwind from this super stressful week. I used to feel like I had to push myself really hard every day in the gym, that all or nothing mentality. But now sometimes just doing a little bit of movement feels better than pushing myself to do too much. On today's Fitness Friday, I wanted to talk to you guys about my fitness journey. Believe it or don't, everyone starts from the same place, basically clueless. I promise you, every jacked trainer that you see on Instagram or fitness influencer that you follow had no idea what they were doing at some point. When I look at my own journey, there were definitely times where I felt like I was making it up as I went along. Considering I come from a family of professional athletes, it's almost a joke how clueless I once was. Like a lot of other women, I wanted to look like the girls in the magazines. I idolized Britney Spears and her washboard abs, and still to this day, I'd love to look like a Bond girl. Gorgeous clothing, gorgeous bodies, adventures all across the world. Most of them end up dying though, so I think I'll go for the look and not the lifestyle. <laughs> I grew up fairly active, I danced, did cheerleading, played golf with my dad, and I thought I understood what it meant to have a healthy lifestyle. I was skinny, but not necessarily the most healthy. I looked good, but I wasn't the most confident in my body. When I started competing in pageants, I realized that I really had no idea what I was doing. The other girls seemed to have it all figured out. They looked phenomenal in swimsuit, and I was really intimidated too intimidated even to ask them what they did. I didn't realize most of them were working with trainers or had some kind of external support to guide them in the gym. So in an effort to do it all myself, too proud to admit that I didn't really know what I was doing, it was then that I discovered fitness magazines. I didn't realize that the audience of most of the fitness magazines I was reading were true fitness competitors. They weren't necessarily designed for someone like me. Some of those workouts were so unrealistic, way too advanced, or not designed for my desired outcomes, but I still didn't know any better. Once again, I thought I was doing the right thing. Some of them gave good meal plans if you were getting ready for a figure competition or a fitness competition, but for me, they were too low calorie, only once again, I didn't know it. I was starving myself and I had no idea. I thought I was doing it right. When my endometriosis started getting debilitating in college, my nutrition and fitness regimen really started to fall apart. Not that it was that great to begin with. I was getting hormonal migraines that were so bad, I couldn't keep food down for days. I was in so much pain, I couldn't get out of bed to go to class, let alone go to the gym. My body was attacking itself and I couldn't see a solution to get back on the right track. The cycle of starving myself during a migraine and then binging once I felt better was a slippery slope. I was advised by my doctor at the time that my migraines were probably caused by my diet and I should try to eliminate things like grains or sugar. I tried every elimination diet plan out there to find what could be the cause of my migraines, but not only did it not help, then I would binge on the things I wasn't allowed to have only to feel worse because I couldn't stay disciplined. Not to mention, it didn't solve my migraines. At that point, I was still doing workouts that I felt like I had to do, not what I wanted to do. I would drag myself out of bed to go to a spin class that I hated or force myself to do a couch to 5K workout because everyone knows the only way to stay in shape is to go jogging. I'm rolling my eyes at myself as I think about it. <laughs> Eventually, I found a trainer who saved me from myself. He showed me how I could take the things I loved, dance and ballet, and use them to inform my work in the gym. Now we call this a functional workout, but to me, it was a way to make the gym less intimidating. 
Instead of doing cardio I hated, thinking it would get me the results I desired, dreaming of how to make use of the weight floor, and almost resenting the fact that I didn't know what I was doing. I had a plan to use exercises that I loved and techniques that made sense to me to get the results that I wanted. Now I do work workouts that I love, focusing on weights and functional exercises, whether it's the weight floor, Pilates, free weights, stretching, workouts that my dad has shown me that were effective in his soccer days, or a super mellow yoga practice like this one from Yoga with Adrian on YouTube. I'm in love with every aspect of my fitness regimen. There's even room in my diet for chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I'm definitely that weirdo who loves to do legs and abs, so I do have to push myself to find a balance and do some upper body work now and then. It's taken a very long time to get to a point where I not only feel like I know what I'm doing, but I enjoy what I'm doing. Hopefully this week's Fitness Friday will in- encourage you guys to get out of your comfort zone, get real with what you like doing in the gym, and motivate you to try something new. Every time I try something new in the gym, I have to remind myself that every expert started off as a beginner and the only way to get better is to work on it. Instead of getting upset that I messed something up or it's not perfect, I try to remind myself that mistakes are an opportunity to get better. I hope you guys find some encouragement in my story. No matter where you are in your fitness journey, there's a way to get on the path you want to be on. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys soon. If you like this video, comment what you'd like to see next, like it, and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for what's next on my channel. I have some great videos planned for you guys, and who knows, maybe a few giveaways soon. Bonus points if you comment how many times you saw Max the Cat walk in and out of frame. Have a great weekend, guys.